So Hong Kong to only offer highly liquid cryptocurrencies for retail trading report. After blocking retail crypto traders in 2018, Hong Kong is moving ahead with a new regulatory regime. Still <laughs> more guardrails are expected. So tell me, how does this work exactly? Because we know that, you know, IOHK, um, Charles Hoskinson's um, firm works on Cardano out of Hong Kong. So you can like have a business that works on a cryptocurrency in Hong Kong, but you can't buy and trade cryptocurrency in Hong Kong. But now you can. And I'm sure Cardano will be available there. So this is good. This is good news. This means, you know, Hong Kong is a very wealthy city. And we can expect that this is going to bring a lot more users and volume. And it's just, you know, it'll put, it's just another leg up for the next bull run, right? You know, this gives us, you know, dry powder to go even farther, you know, go beat that 69,000, go to 70K, 80K, 90K, 100K, right? So Hong Kong Securities Watchdog, the Securities and Futures Commission, SFC, announced plans to propose a subset of tokens it would allow for retail investors trading, according to a report from Reuters, as it continues to establish a new regulatory regime for the city. The move announced at this year's Asian Financial Forum aims to make Hong Kong more friendly to crypto startups and focus on, a, on investor protection. Amazing. The decision to allow retail trading in cryptocurrencies would replace the previous regime set up in 2018 that restricted access to crypto to institutional investors who had portfolios valued over HK 8 million or 1 million USD. Luang said, though, that the tokens that will be offered to retail investors will be restricted to those that are highly liquid. Consultation on retail trading is expected to start within the first quarter of this year. So pretty much all the cryptocurrencies in the top 10, I assume, would be available, and that'd probably be about it, right? Or maybe they'll have it anything that's over a market cap of um, $4 billion maybe or more. I don't know. Or maybe they'll base it off of daily volumes. I, I really don't know how they're going to do this. Or maybe they'll just say, you know, the top 10 cryptocurrencies. It's hard to say. The SFC's CEO, Julia Leong, said that the new virtual asset service provider regime will also seek public views about specific guardrails for retail trading. A crypto wallet provider or an exchange are both examples of a VASP. The SFC says it plans to start accepting applications for VASP licenses in mid-2024. All trading platforms and exchanges that wish to operate in Hong Kong will be required to apply for a license or else face fines and potential jail terms. So mid-2024, right in time for the next bull run. Let's go. They're going to bring in all the retail traders for more liquidity to keep that bull run going. So us Americans can, you know, dump on their heads at the top. That's what's up. I like that. I like that idea. The SFC has not yet responded to Decrypt's inquiry into which tokens that may include or exclude. The potential to allow retail traders. Yeah, because <laughs> you could literally just front run them, right? We know all of these tokens are about to be listed there. I go ahead and buy them now. And then as soon as they get listed, I can just dump them, right? I can just dump them on all their heads. As soon as they come in, bring all that, that, that wave of liquidity comes in to these tokens, you know, it goes up 10, 20%. You know, I can just have a margin position ready to go, you know, have a nice little long going 10 X on a shit ton of money. As soon as they come in, bring all that liquidity and jumps up. Boom, just dump it immediately, right? The potential to allow retail traders back in on digital assets was first teased by Elizabeth Wong, head of the fintech unit at the SFC back in October last year. Speaking at an event at the time, she said that the government was considering a crypto regulation bill and that the SFC was looking to allow individuals to directly invest into virtual assets. This most recent move comes after months of volatility in the crypto market with the collapse of the crypto exchange FTX being the latest blow. Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency, is down more than 70% since hitting a record high in November of 2021, while many so-called altcoins have fared even worse. Yep. That's how bear, bear markets work, right? So this is good news. You know, this is more liquidity coming for the next bull run. 
you know, this gives me confidence that Bitcoin can and probably will break that 70K level. We only have 16% adoption in the United States for cryptocurrencies. I think at some point that will easily get to 50%. So I think there's a lot more money coming to crypto. I think the total crypto market cap hit a level of around $3 trillion um, at the peak. I believe we can easily get to 10 trillion and then we'll see what happens from there. But that's all I got for you today. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.